believe it or not guys we are in the cabin of my m3 touring we're actually going for a first drive you guys are going to get a small idea of what it's like i'm not even going to begin to go over the issues the niggles the stresses right now i'm pretty happy the car's running pump fuel right now we're not running full boost about 30 psi we're running today 99 run we're still talking like a 4 900 to 200 these cars on pump fuel can do like 35 psi which is what i was running before but yeah there's just so much to talk about there's gonna be no structure i'm just gonna go for a drive and just just give you an idea of what it's like windows down because why not took this car for a drive to Manchester the other day and oh my god it was just sick to just be back in this car I was kind of chasing times it was never the intentions of this build when you start chasing times it just gets really really annoying it's a close to two-ton car it's never gonna be the fastest still logged the 3.200 to 200 if you don't know which is very fast and that was spinning not even fully dialed in anyway let's stop talking let's go uh, second gear give you a little idea of how it sounds like. Jesus. absolute savage this is on pump fuel like bro i drove this car to Manchester. i'm like why am i chasing stupid power when this right now is perfection have a listen carbon ceramics second gear jesus christ i promise you this is actually like half this car's power and as i said i'm i'm i'm, I'm driving to manchester because i'm shooting a, a mad video for lf games and i'm like what the f am i doing like this is perfection obviously probably an over engineered engine but this is all the power i need I'm trying to fucking break records and shit enjoy the car man what a bad man car this is as well absolute savage to think this is not even low boost full power guys is just out of this world like as mentioned for a car of this weight aerodynamically it can't be the most efficient car do you know what i mean but to do a free two spinning um that's why i stripped the cabin i stripped the cabin I was going to dial in a bit more tuner and this is a two second car this is so two second 100 to 200 car and it is a mid eight car easily i'm at a stage now where i'm thinking i might just allow it guys i just can't be arsed man i've got my one series some of you that follow me on instagram you'll know that i've got a serious rocket ship of a one series coming that is going to have an even better spec engine than this anyway look m3 touring genuine daily driver starts every single time there's no hiccups let's go second gear wow what an animal <laughs> Fuck you now, man. for the record this is my wastegate 30 psi the car's had no air conditioning it's had no interior we're running around with mickey thompson tires so in the back of your mind you're like Fuck. running about 45 psi uh, with ethanol like E85 or sorry E112 on boot mode the car actually starts to struggle so these cars around the 11 12 around the 1200 wheel horsepower mark the fueling gets a little bit inconsistent so it's a non can bus system boot mod whereas mhd and ecutech they're a can bus system so your parts work together a lot better so fueling on this car has just been all over the place the reason why i've not been out i've not been out to any events i've not raced anyone i've not had any fun in the car because i'm not going to spend the money that i've spent and harm my engine and that's all i'm doing my fueling's not been correct fuel kit's fine fuel pumps injectors are fine it's just simply boot mod uh, seems to they've got a new system some rev 2 system it's not been released yet uh, which i assume will be a can bus setup but uh, once i release that these cars will be fine then uh, to run boot mod but yeah mhd ecutech for the win savage this car is very offensive this car is going to be heard from all sides of earth <laughs> a 
<laughs> the more I'm starting to push this car now, because off camera, I ain't ragging the car around, but now I'm driving it for the camera, it's starting to feel a little bit more tame. I need man so I had a company called uh, GTP Motorsport uh, tune the car and I just said look I need a safe map something that I can travel to Manchester because this car's not even run any form of pump fuel yet it's only been ethanol spent thousands on barrels of E112 so now being able to get in the car put some 99 run in take for a drive it's been cool man it's been really cool to the point where I'm thinking you know what I might even just allow all of this fucking world's fastest this UK's fastest, I'm just, can't be asked. Wow. What a fucking savage this thing is. <laughs> On the motorway the other day, like, the speed you're hitting, I'm thinking, bro, like, I'm running half my power, like, it's absolutely bonkers. But yeah, the car running pump is sweet, man, honestly, like, it just, idles perfect the turbo as i say it's a huge turbo this turbo we're running uh, g42 1450 it's capable of 1500 horsepower anyone that uh, follows the americans you would have seen officially the world's fastest m3 uh mikey tuned he's running uh, a 3.4 liter engine same bits basically but a 3.4 same turbo kit no no sorry he's on a slightly bigger turbo now so he's actually yeah no no so i just made a mistake guys uh, this this turbo still can do like 14 50 wheel uh, but mikey's car did 1500 wheel horsepower and it's probably done more than that at the track they would have turned it up a little bit but this car dynoed 1220 to the wheels at around six and a half thousand rpm this car revs to 7800 rpm we didn't manage to get it into dyno mode so we don't know what the true full power is but we would say it's closer to 1300 wheel horsepower easily and going by the times, the fact that I did a free 200 to 200 with this car, full weight, not even stripped and not fully dialed in. So, as I say, guys, it's a two second car on the street, 100%. Oof, have a look. You're fucking, mate, he is lucky. But to be fair, we're not even running anything crazy right now. Oi, love the sound of that. Sounds sick. Man, the way that it tugs. <laughs> yeah, this is fucking mad. Fucking beautiful. <laughs> That's the 1010, bro. That is the 1010, mate. Dad wagon moving about like that. Mad. If I can get this just reliably, like you gotta remember that the kind of power that I'm trying to push in my M3 touring you only have a couple of hits on the engine man like some serious power like we've done fire rings on the engine but it's not a true fire locked head you got a proper lock that head in man like if you want to run you know 50 plus psi reliably so it's just things I'm discovering and learning along the way that you know you think you've done things properly when you actually haven't there's more and more and more that can be done so that's why I'm excited about my one series because you know there's a lot of work that's been done you know a lot of knowledge that I've gained should I say through doing this S58 and even doing the M240 we've done a KLM head gasket and then obviously the engine for 
the engine for my one series is going to be another level basically we want to run big boost man 50 you know we want to be doing 55 60 psi is what we want to be doing it's just an explosion and you know what with the carbons <laughs> Madness. No overheating. Just so much drama, like a lot going on, man. This is like, oh man, it makes the M3 so fucking cool. This touring, like, you know, the M3, M4 that I had before. They are, man. They're like a bit, yeah. They're very sort of. They just do everything too easy, you know. Um. This is just, yeah, this has just changed everything for this car without fail. Is that a Porsche? Mate, you don't want this smoke, my brother. So yeah, I know some of you are probably confused at why things are taking so long. I know a lot of you probably think I'm just moving slack. The truth is, it's just been constant headaches. Like, initially as this engine got sent over, I was told there was an oil leak, which it turned out there wasn't an oil leak. So that was a huge delay. The car was parked up for a while because we thought there was a little issue with the engine. When it turned out, as I say, it was completely fine. So I moved on to, you know, finishing the car off, getting the car tuned. Um, what actually happened is uh, I changed the fuel from E112 to E98. We assumed that that may have caused some sort of issue with the fueling. Obviously now I know all the time it's just been the fact that boot mod just isn't been reliable at the kind of horsepower that I'm trying to run. So we did single bank tuning, but it turned out the car wasn't even running single bank. The ECU was originally sent off to Femto to have MHD Plus, but switching over to boot mod, we had to send the ECU back off to Femto to actually enable single bank tuning on boot mod. It just fucking, it's a mouthful, literally. So I've done that. We thought, oh, it might have been because of the fact the car weren't running single bank. you got to remember as well, these guys are in America that are tuning the car. It's like it's back and forward. They're six hours behind, so I'm up at one in the morning. You know, these guys in the arms, it's fucking, man, like, I can't even... Yeah, it's a madness. Never, ever, ever again, man. We start tuning again, and um, it's nothing to do with the, 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 the fact it's not a single bank. So it just turns out that when you get to this kind of power level, you need to be on Ecutech or you need to be on MHD. Problem with trying to tune on Ecutech, which some of these Americans tune on, you can't get Ecutech on the M3 or the M4. Ecutech's only available on Generation 1 X3Ms. We're talking like a 2019, 2020 X3M. You can actually use Ecutech. So I've been trying to find an X3M ECU so I can clone my ECU and run the X3M ECU so I can actually install Ecutech, which ultimately would have sorted everything. So I couldn't find an ECU. So now my next step is switching back over to MHD which it originally was on in the first place because it is a CAN bus setup. The problem is the guys who have been tuning my car they're not fully ready for tuning. Um so yeah so what I did was I actually got a pump mat flash on the car via boot mod. Via boot mod it's fine as I say below the 1200 Walmart you're fine uh but yeah trying to chase those uh, big numbers is where we could have dialed it in it could have been okay but you know as I say I'm not gonna spend the money that I've spent and um, potentially harm my engine. So when this video is finished anyway, uh, we will be sending the ECU back off for the third time. Boy. I'm loving the fact that my temps are just beautiful. They're not creeping up or anything. Carbon ceramics, game changer. Still, like, turbo comes on about 4.5k. You know, it's not the laggiest. Oh, shit. This is fire. This is genuinely like... This is one of my first proper drives in this car with you guys right now. As I say, I tore it up to Manchester. Motorway, but not hit back lanes must sounds like a super coming up man like bro we've got 
got a gearbox that's just functioning like normal. Stage three, pure drivetrain solutions. It drives just like a stock car, man. No word of a lie. Of course, it's not got the twins. So you are going to sacrifice a little bit of, you know, turbo response. But I'm sure you can all agree that we prefer, we prefer to be listening to that. Jesus. And we're in an M3, man. Look at the driving like that. Handling the traction. Americans are going to be out in roads like this. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah, no, man. What a car. Like, I, you know, like recently, uh, the last few months, I've been like, in my mind, I'm like, bro, this car's gone. I'm just copying a 992 GT3 or something. Like, what a car. And to be fair, what I've done, like, to achieve this level of performance, sound, you don't need to do what I've done. Like I've gone completely overkill if I was planning to run the power that I'm running now. I, I have no idea what the power is. As I said, it's not been on the dyno uh, running pump fuel. Anyway, I'm gonna start waffling. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the thumbs up. I'm gonna try get back onto making some content. Get ready for the one series as well. The one series is the main car. So yeah, if you do see the M3 Tour missing at some point, I'll whip out a GT3. Here's what it is, lads. That is not happening. I promise you, I'm not yet. Not without you guys fully knowing what's going on. Anyway, I'm out. See you later.